Oh, it is midnight. You know, I'm gonna be cooking up about four in the morning. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Right there, bud. You got just three baby back ribs on the top. Facebook, y'all know me as Smoking Bear, Sugar Bear's famous barbecue. Look at it. Miller Highlight Champagne to be his guy, man. Today, we are cooking six, 12, two, 17 pounds of wings. Went down to the Caribbean market today, thanks to KB Barbecue, Kenneth Brown. Went down there and picked up some wings. Pretty good size. I mean, they not jumbo wings, but they big enough. They not as big as those, but big enough. So, we're gonna take these, and all of these, plus those, and we're gonna put them in there. We're gonna braise them, bake them braise, and then I'll put it in the skillet. I'll show you how to do it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick any, mini, mighty mo, close enough. We're gonna marinate these wings in the pineapple nectar from the Jamaican Korean beer store. Then we're gonna make three kinds of wings. We're gonna make barbecue, with the A16. Then we're gonna go medium to buffalo. And we're gonna roll with the mild wing sauce from Panola. Right there, buddy. Some good stuff. Same color as Hooter wings. Then we're gonna come forward to the Sky Tower. Buffalo wing sauce, which is great. This is really good. Because it has flavor. Then we're gonna go jerk with the barbecue seasoning. Now we made tricky jam there at the same time, depending on how I want it to be. Now this is Sugar Bear's famous seasoning right here. If you can guess what all four of these are, one, two, three, four, five, or five, <clears throat> you're the champ. So I have to put this in the blender, get this going, get it down to that Chantan red color. All right there, buddy. You gotta get it all in there. So I'm gonna cook all those wings with this. And then for the size, I haven't figured it out. I think it may go with Alfredo noodles, or I may go with loaded mashed potatoes. I don't know yet. But we're going to find out. We're going to have to get this ground up. So let me grab a little silver bullet. Get these rinsed off clean. And I always cut off these things. I don't even know where the hell they sell them to you like that. Just cut them off. Nobody eats them anyway. Unless you just want to feed them to the dogs. But anyway, stay right there. It's smoking better. About to clean these up and stuff, and I'll show you the progress. Let's do it. Hi right, YouTube face, welcome back. Um, you got the blend that I put together, Sugar Bear's Famous Seasoning right here. Can not tell you what it is? I'm pretty sure Kendall Brown know what it is because he's here, here with me today when I got it. Now, um, the Pineapple Caribbean Barbecue Bourbon Chicken, I have it, Brian and um, we're soaking right now, and the Pineapple Nectar that I had got, actually I should have got two of them because it would have raised up higher, but since it's made from concentrate, you can add a little water to it as I did as such. But I'm about to take that, put it on the fire, boil it down so that pineapple flavor gets in there. Then I'm going to take it off and put it in the oven. I really wanted to put it on the grill, but hell, it's late and I don't feel like it. But that's what we're going to do. Now over here, we're going to take somewhat that same technique, but we're going to bake these. And plus, we're going to go with the panola. Now wing sauce and the panola with a high tour barbecue wing sauce and then we're going to um, throw the jerk on the last one but um, but yeah that's the way you do it you know it was, this really was a Ray to Ray secret back in the day I just haven't done it in a long time um, hell it's been like 10 years since I did it but it turns out amazing um, you like sweet barbecue chicken you know it's better than just having regular barbecue chicken because at least you got some tang and some flavor and that's what it's about so I'm boil this down. Matter of fact, I maybe just put this in a skillet and just braise it. That makes it easier because it's already going to be damn near done when I finish anyway. So that's pretty much all you have to do. It's a real simple dish. Uh, first two people I ever seen do it was G Garvin and Rachel Ray, and I was like in uh, 2005, 2007. But you know, it ain't nothing new. We're gonna add this seasoning to it at the same time to give it some kick. So stay right there and put this on, and I'll be back and I'll put those in. Stay with me. 
Yeah. All right, you too, thanks, bro. Strategy, the discipline, game plan. Pineapple Caribbean barbecue bourbon chicken is on. Look at it. Look at it sitting in that Caribbean seasoning right there, buddy. It's going to be a Tony Jam, Chooky Jam moment right here, buddy. It's going to happen. I'm about to put the other chicken in the oven at 350, and it is 9.29. This I got to line it up. Line it up just like a chef. Secrets, just like it's supposed to be. There are 32 wings on this tray. And it has the complete seasoning, Caribbean complete seasoning, and also the seasoning salt and the smoked paprika. And that's what it's going in right now on. I don't debate on which sauce I'm going to use when it comes out. So let's put them in there. You see, since yesterday I raised that rack up, it was on the bottom because I had that heavy ass spaghetti in there. Which everybody ate. 20 plus pounds of spaghetti, God. That means it was good. So I'm gonna put this in here for the first 30 minutes and come back, flip it over, take about an hour. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna skill it up, that pineapple. Let's do it. All right, the pineapple barbecue bourbon chicken is still simmering. Still got some time on the chicken that's in the oven, and it is 9.42. Look at that seasoning. That smells amazing. <clears throat> now, um, for the sauce, this is for the bourbon barbecue sauce. Um, bourbon pineapple barbecue sauce. So you can use any kind of barbecue sauce you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, but when you're looking for mega flavor, that's why you take your fresh cut pineapple. I went down to the market, I had to get it because I had this in mind. But I didn't know I was going to make it this fast. But, so, you're looking for mega flavor. So what you're doing is adding more sweet on top of sweet. That's really what you're doing because most of your barbecue sauce you're going to pick is already sweet already. And after you doctor it up, I'm pretty sure it's even sweeter. But now you add the tang and your flavor. Because remember, the chicken is being brined somewhat damn near boiled and the nectar um, pineapple juice. So that's to get it on the inside. This is gonna work the outside. So seeing Rachel Ray do something, with, something like this, that was like in 2006 or 2007, but I never forgot it because I thought it was amazing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this pineapple to the sauce and we're gonna cook this down so it can really blend you want the flavor to jump out at you and that's what's gonna happen guaranteed I promise you that so let me cut this up just want you to know what I was doing so yeah maybe you want to try it at home so we got the pineapple bourbon barbecue chicken but not just yet Now she used like some Ted Williams something back in the day. But assuming everything is everything, because you don't need much. Remember you're gonna cook this down anyway. But that's enough. Look for flavor and that bourbon, I give it a kick at the end. Which I'm gonna cook that down. So let me cut up the rest of this pineapple, put that in there, cook that down right now. So when she comes out, we're ready. And also in the oven. Let's do it. That smells amazing. I am back. The 32 wings are out right here, and we're going to flip them. Now, I've tasted this sauce from the panola, the mayo sauce. This one, for some reason, is stronger than this one. Now both of them are good. This one tastes more like the Hooter sauce. I don't know why, but it does. But this one is more like one of those American deli kind of things. But we're gonna turn those in a minute. But we got the sauce still cooking down with the pineapples in it for rich tang flavor. So what I'm gonna do, look at it. 
Look at them Caribbean spices cooking on the wings right there, buddy. When these are finished, I'm going to put them right in this pan. And we're going to braise them in that pan and in this one. Because I ain't trying to do this all night, even though it's only 10, 17. And I got way more than enough of Miller High Life to keep me going. So that's what we're going to do. After we done dosed that sauce with the Evan Williams, it is looking good. Look at it. Amazing, amigo. So let's turn these wings. Wait a minute, beer break. <clears throat> now you know when your season cooks in because look how dark it is. Now, look at the color now. Totally different. Rewind the video because what it looked like before. So, let's turn these wings and get them back in there. So, a lot of people like to sauce the outside. What I'm going to do, since that bourbon is cooked down, is I'm going to sauce these on the back side. Now, these ain't the biggest wings on the planet. They ain't jumbo wings or nothing like that. That's probably why they was on sale. But, hey, for this many wings, I take it. So, two bags cost me like 16 bucks. Straight up. 16 bucks at the Caribbean market. Can't beat it. So, if you think about it, this is half. Well, actually, it's probably about one bag. So, about 60 wings for 16 bucks. Can't beat it. Not even 50 cent a wing. But, you know, we go to American Deli and these different places, and J&J &J Fish and Wings, we pay for convenience. It's always cheaper to cook it yourself. Same difference, it just takes time. But I could have easily just fried these. It would have been a lot faster, but I wanted to keep the savory in the sauce. So, you see the pan that I'm using has a slit in it like a griddle. So all the juice and everything that came off this in the seasoning went down the pan, which you will see me use that later for extra flavor. But, like I tell people, you know, he say, especially uh, YouTube subscribers, I love you all, is that um, he always asks me, you know, um, you like cooking? I say, yeah, I love it. I ain't get this big eating out. You know, you start eating out of McDonald's and Wendy's and everything else, you know, that blow you up quick. You know, I, I really cook and get big. I ain't get this big eating out. Uh, big about eating chicken and steak. So sometimes I go on KFC and order one breast, and they look at me like, that's it? Like, I know you're a big ass, I want something else. But no, that's it. You know, sometimes you gotta um, savor that flavor, and you have to um, get your um, fix in, like women call it, my fix. So, when you turn these, so let's get that bourbon on here. And we're gonna do it like this. Where's my trusty rusty? Where's my mop? There we go. All right. Well, at least we get to see some NBA. Miller highlight champagne. Right there, buddy. But um, at least we get to see some NBA. Watching Boston and the Lakers final game seven. I think this is like in 98, 99 or something like this. Even Rasheed Wallace still playing, so you know this has been a minute. So, let's sauce these up. All right. Let's take this barbecue pineapple bourbon. I cut that off? Yeah, I already cut that off. All right. Put this on here because that is hot, amigo. So, look at that. Look at it. Look at that beauty. Let's put this power on here. I'm trying to sauce it up. Now, afterwards, you can put whatever sauce. You know how much more you want to put on it, but this should take. This should do it. Now the. Barbecue pineapple whiskey bourbon sauce. Um, like I said, I saw Rachel Ray do it a long time ago, but it's turned out amazing for me. And I haven't done this in like 10 years. But um, it's not supposed to be real thick. You know, some people like thick sauce. I don't. Um, you know, even especially if you fry the wings, like they give you barbecue wings and they fry them, 
and then when they get when they set for a minute and then they get cold you reheat them and the damn skin fall off I hate that so I keep it nice and smooth so that it'll stick I did not put any honey in this a lot of people put honey in there so they make sure it sticks but all I did was compound it with really really good sauce um, half the barbecue sauce is my um, own special sauce plus uh, mixed with syrup same stuff you put on pancakes and it will stick but we'll see and this will be sauced again in this barbecue bourbon pineapple sauce again when it comes out and then we're gonna let it set sort of sitting there Let's put that back look at it look at them caribbean season cooking down on them wings right there you got the pineapple of concentrating there this how much of it that i need in order for it to cook down which really i think that even though you let it simmer and stuff it's really boiling the chicken but it gets all them the flavors in there and it keeps it in there and plus we're gonna put the bourbon well no i'm gonna, gonna span the pan this up and we're gonna braise them just like you get at the restaurant the high-end restaurant when they charge you 50 dollars a plate and really i just got these for 12 damn dollars so doing this corona episode knock yourself out so also gonna blaze this up eating this jamaican jerk barbecue sauce on some of them that is amazing amigo so i haven't figured out yet what the size is gonna be i think i'm gonna go old school with the fredo noodles with it so we can fire up three packs of those and see what happens this is actually tasty these things are 99 cents a pack man you don't have to be a meal in here to make good in the food you just do not people make you think that but it's not true so let's get these back in the oven and i'm cooking these wings at 350. now they're 400 or anything else just like that so now this is cooled off look at it you know i couldn't help it i had to do it so we're gonna put those back in there all 32 wings and we're gonna let those glisten look at it i'm the champ they don't have to just be on a barbecue grill make them all the time today is wednesday tomorrow i'm gonna make something else special tomorrow and then we're going for our lasagna this weekend out there on the bear you ever seen a lasagna made on a smoker or a barbecue grill? You gonna find out. Look at that sauce. Don't make no damn sense. Shot town red sauce right there, buddy. So, and then dirtied up my cutting board, so let me clean that off and get back with you when I take those wings out and we gonna pan up this chicken right here. Look at it. Amazing, amigo. Cooking down that pineapple juice right there, buddy. So, I'll be right back with you. Look at it. Look at it. Beautiful, amigo. Alright, it is a little after 11. And Boston and LA is playing. But, it's time to take out the chicken. So, let's do it. Look at it. Amazing, amigo. Let's take this out and turn another burn, my damn self. In the process. Look at it. That's amazing. This is why you don't run thick sauce. You run thick sauce, you get the caping and everything else. But look at the braids on the wings right there, buddy. Look at it. Smoking bear. Look at it. That is amazing. So, it's time to take that pineapple chicken off. Right here. If you notice, when we first started, the pineapple juice was all the way up here. Now it's down there. That means it is rendered in very well. So, hopefully these wings won't fall apart if I'm lucky. So, let's get these out into the skillet for the braising and get it going. Stay right here. 
Look at it. That is amazing, amigo. It smells amazing in here. And it is 11.03. And we still going. I should be done by midnight to make this right. Right there, buddy. One more time. Look at it. That's amazing right there, buddy. That right there is the pineapple barbecue bourbon chicken. Right there, Caribbean style. Right there, buddy. Don't get no better than that. 32 wings, and we have about another 30 plus in here that we're going to put in this skillet. Stay right there. You're going to watch this happen. All right. Now, I've drained the chicken. And it is in the skillet. So what we want to do, since this is almost done anyway, is we want to braise this chicken. That's what we want to do. We're going to get the color on it and everything, just like that. So we want the color on all of it. Now this chicken turned out real tender. And you can see the bones in it because the damn thing is falling apart. And that's the way you want it. I'm using two pans because there's so many of them. You want it just like that. And party over. But you see the bones. Some of them fell apart just like that. Because they were already tender. Put a nice blaze, blaze on this. This is what we're going to do. So this is going to cook fast. It's almost, looks like chopped chicken, almost. But we are not outside on the grill. So you got to manage your fire. You know, I want it too high. You want it just right. This one. It's going to be different than the other one. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take our pineapple. Right here. Watch this. We're going to take that pineapple. Mix with that Evans bourbon. And we're going to lay it on with the pineapple. At the same time. Look at it. It's amazing, amigo. Right there, buddy. You have to cook it in it. It's almost like some people cook curry chicken, but we're not curry in this. Matter of fact, I think I may cook the for the weekend. It smells amazing, and that's how you want it. Just like that. Just remember, this chicken is over three quarters of the way done. So, there's nothing special about it. So, I'm trying to keep this damn thing on the stove. Right there. I'm going to add some to the other side. Just like that. And these are perfect size wings for this. This one makes it great. Just like that. Now, we're going to mix this in. And then we're going to let it simmer. So I got this from Racer Ray years ago. Years ago. The skinny, the thinner Racer Ray. When she was thick. Look at it. Outstanding. That bourbon is cooking in amazing. Look at that color. That don't make no damn sense. Right there, buddy. Well, this one over here, this is what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do 
we're going to cut this off. We're going to reach for our mouth and we're rolling with the panola. No different than they do a Panda Express or anywhere else, but I want this more like a like a Hooter Wings kind of sauce. You want to cook in it. Now, years ago I did this and then turned around and took all of this out of the pan and put it back in the oven for it to stiffen up. But you see all the bones? Damn chicken falling apart. Now, when I put it on the grill, I don't have that problem, but I didn't want to fire up the grill um, just for this. But the bear will be smoking this week before this weekend. That's for sure. Hit it again. Now this is mild, so it's not super hot. Should add some chippy jams to it. That'll set it off. So by the time I mix this all up, all those bones you see will be obsolete practically. Those wings are whole. So this. This is finished, put it over a bit of rice and noodles, however you want to do it. It is amazing, the taste is amazing. So, let me do my special. Right there, buddy. Damn! Wait! Who cooked this? Oh yeah, that was me. Outstanding. Mm -mm -mm. Damn, coronavirus my ass. You'll find something else to do. So, this is also finished. All you're doing is sauteing and letting it simmer. So, we're gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes. So all those juices get in there. So you have the Caribbean barbecue. Pineapple bourbon chicken right here. Look at it. And then over here, you have the Caribbean season with the panola mild wing sauce. Right here. So we can cut all this off. It's already finished. That's it, baby. Next thing you're going to see is this plated up. Thank you, Evan Williams. So the next thing you're going to see is this plated up. Right there, buddy, with the side. So let's do it. All right, the sauce has been used. That is amazing. Look at the pineapple chunks in there. It tastes amazing. Thank you, Panola, with the mild wing sauce. And we still haven't jerked it yet. So let's do this. I got the milk, butter, and water. I'm getting ready for that. And to do it to Corona time, you don't have to do a whole bunch of expensive things to make good food. So we're going to have Fredo this up because that's going to match very well. Now, this is what you got. Look at those wings. 32 wings right there. Caribbean pineapple bourbon glazed chicken. Right there, buddy. Then you have the Caribbean pineapple braised chicken. Right here, buddy. Barbecue bourbon, barbecue chicken right there. Then over here, you have the Caribbean season mounds from Panola, which is outstanding. Right here, buddy. You see the bones? Damn chicken fell apart. Right there, buddy. That's how you want it. Most of the time with a restaurant, they'll put this in the strainer and pull these bones out so you never see them. I'm showing you now because you don't know. But it's pretty much almost like shredded chicken because before I even put it in the skillet, it was already done. You just need to add some more flavor to it. That's pretty much what it is. So you take all the bones out and you're good to go. Other than that, this is going to bed of Fredo noodles or, or rice, depending on what you want to do. Not expensive. All this chicken right here, I got for $16. That's it, $16. But I got a house full of people, so I got what? Five, six, seven, seven people, so. And a seven, it's amazing. 16 buck meal plus I take that back 16 dollars plus 17 18 19 dollars you can't beat it buddy so 
I'm gonna let that simmer up so I can get this Alfredo going. The next thing you're gonna see is the results. Other than these results, which are amazing. Look at it. Make you hungry, don't it? And if you like the spice and something nice, look at it. And then if you like something sweet, there you go. Right there. Look at it. Make you want to kill your diet right there, buddy. Because that's how it's getting down. So one day come worry day, you know what? I'm gonna make all three of these again, plus some ribs, plus a brisket. I'm gonna throw all the way down. Y'all can all see that video, and hopefully I can get KB Kenneth Brown, KB Barbecue over here, and do a collab. Well, hopefully I can get everybody y'all been asking for with the Juki Jam. Maybe, just maybe, I can get Tony Graham over here, and we can get down with the get down. But we'll stay right there. We're gonna hook this up, and you're gonna see the plate now. That's what we're gonna do. Amazing. Well, the plate up is a problem. As you notice that the um, pineapple barbecue is damn near gone. And of course, the curry pineapple barbecue is already gone. And the noodles are too. So it was a success. It was a success. Success. I gotta pronounce it right. And of course, the bourbon is gone. There may be one shot. So the next time, the smoking beer guy. And I'm going to bottle this up right here to say that for later. Plus the jerk sauce, plus the panola. So that's how we're going to get down. So I, I say one plate left, which is mine. You got the pineapple bourbon chicken. Plus the panola chicken. Plus, of course, my Alfredo. And that's what we're going to get down. So the next time, it's smoking bear. <clears throat> like and subscribe. Say things in the comment. I don't care what it is. Let me know what you want to see me cook next. Let's do it. Okay. It is midnight. And I'm going to be cooking about Ain't 4 in the morning. So let's see what we got here. <laughs> right there, bud. Three baby back wheels on the top.